Welcome back to the Righteous Rock Show. Here we are again today with uh, Bill Mention, his second time with us in the studio. How you been? Well, you know, could be better, could be worse. I'm still standing. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what, what's been going on? What have you been working on? You know, a lot of super secret, uh, uptight stuff. Uh, uh, the request of management, I ended up uh, really kind of reworking a bunch of uh, older tunes from Redeemer and Rev7. Uh, and uh, Robert's doing some wild drumming on it and stuff. And uh, you know, it's actually coming out pretty good. We're putting a lot of work into it. I don't know really where it's all going to end up. We're going to find out the hard way eventually here soon. Cool, cool. And um, another thing I wanted to talk about, you're getting ready to do, uh, get a new website up, right? Yeah, BillMention.com has been out for a while, but it's been pretty basic. We just never wanted to throw money into the hole. And uh, <clears throat> But pretty soon, uh, I think within just probably a day or two right now, it's going to be a, a decent website. People can get any merchandise we have right off the website. Uh, if they got PayPal, they can just point and click and boom, boom, boom. It's all going to be there. And, and I've seen uh, the basic structure of it. I haven't seen the finished version of it, but it's really killer. Right? So people go to the great site. It's at BillMention.com. And, uh, cool. <clears throat> And uh, I know that um, your wife handles the publicity and the merchandise for you? Yeah, she's doing some of that. Uh, you know, just a lot of the light work and stuff. And that's, uh, we'll put that up, that's P.O. Box 32021, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89173. Or email at, how do you pronounce that? Terry DeTorres at gmail.com, that's T E R R. E D E T O R R E S Terry DeTorres at gmail.com. Cool, cool. And um, uh, so, uh, what, what's what's it like? What when did you and Robert meet, and 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 how how's that whole thing been going? Well, actually, it's you know it's kind of hard to believe we've already known each other for 15 years. You know, I just uh, time is unfortunately flying by way too fast. But we've had a lot of fun. Uh, we met in 1996. Uh, he was just uh, kind of hanging around our group for a little while. We had that group Titanic. We were actually playing some gigs and he came by to see us a couple of times. And You know, the group kind of drifted apart and so, you know, Robert was around and some of the guys were around. We ended up doing a few demos and stuff and not know what we didn't do too much, you know. And uh, I think we played like one show with him somewhere. And uh, <clears throat> a few years later, you know, fast forward up to around 2005, you know, uh, Retroactive Records had me putting a couple of new records together and Robert was around. He lived in Vegas at that time, which is where he lives now, not too far from me. And uh, so and since then, we've played a whole bunch of stuff together. You know, he's on almost everything I've done. There's a few albums that he's not on, but you know, he might put them on those one of these days. Cool, cool. Um, and that uh, brings us to, uh, what, you want to come uh, jump in on this interview? Robert? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. Cool. All right. Okay. Drummer man. All right. And <laughs> back. To, he has to play his own drum roll this time too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try to throw something in, maybe some audience applause, you know, and some whistle. Whatever and stuff. you like, man. We'll spice it up a bit. So. Uh, I know that you had touched on it before in the other interview about working with Bill, but you know, did you want to? add anything maybe some you know a story or you know a time that you guys got together i know uh both wives are uh you know your, your whole both families enjoyed hanging out and oh of course it's really I mean, been a we always have a blast hanging out together and you know him and i had no idea that when we met 15 years ago uh when he pulled up on the front lawn of someone's house where i was standing on the front porch and i i thought the guy was going to hit the front porch and i didn't know that years later we would attract over 150 songs together but it's a lot of fun when we uh you know when we record it, it i gotta say it's some of the funnest times i've ever had in the recording studio it truly truly is and um you know who knows what the future holds i'm sure some good things that happen in the future but it's been a lot of fun and uh, you know, Bill's more like a, a brother than a friend. That's, that's awesome. Um, now, I know that the album that I really enjoy is from the Redeemer time, is um, the Redeemer album AD. Um, and I know that you guys are, are wor been working on uh, redoing some of the tunes from the Redeemer uh, catalog. You guys want to talk a little bit about that? or? 
Well, <clears throat> you know, uh, his mother picked all the tunes. And you know, I, I, looking at the list of tunes that she picked, she was right, you know? She picked all the best ones, uh, looking back on it. and So I just said, yeah, you know, just point and click. And she gave us a big list of stuff. And I kind of got the, you know, tracks in some shape. And Robert came in and beat the heck out of my drums. and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's coming out really good. We've been putting a lot of work into it. I'm not sure where, you know, it's all going to end up and what God's going to do with it, but we're just, you know, sowing some seeds of faith there, I guess, with guitars and drums. You know, i got to say, my mom is a great manager. She was managing Striper for so many years, and uh, now she's managing Bill, and she does a great job, and I'm, I'm so glad she's hooked up with Bill, because I know that's really going to, that's a good thing. You know, it's going to head it in the right direction. We have a lot of fun with the with Robert's parents. You know, uh, they're just it's like a big family now. You know, we're we're practically family with Robert and his immediate family, and now it just got bigger because we've you know, really gotten closer to Janice and Phil over the last couple of years, and just have a blast together. Yeah, we were we were really blessed by that interview um, that uh, Janice and Phil did with us here, and I know uh, the Righteous Rock Nation, all the uh, Striper fans, really uh, were blessed by that as well. That have seen that. Um, on the website and uh, on YouTube. Um, well, you know, again, thanks, man, for coming out. It's just a huge, huge blessing, man. And, uh, you know, um, I know God's doing big things with everyone. Uh, Robert had talked about him in the previous interview, and, and you've mentioned people that have, um, like um, <clears throat> your cousin Bruce, who's worked with you and, and just been, you know, a it, really cool you know and he's been a, a really a big blessing for us in the past few months i forgot to mention that on all this these tracks that we've been doing lately he's doing the bass and matter of fact he's still tracking some bass right now and he's really adding a, a tremendous uh, uh you know a flavor to it that it, it didn't have he's changing every every song as well so with having him both and him robert yeah. uh, uh, jumping in on it there it's really turning the music into uh, something that it wasn't before that people liked and I know a lot of people do like that earlier music yeah oh yeah and uh, a lot of, it's kind of funny that in the last six or seven months people have been telling me how much they like a lot of the earlier Redeemer and Rev 7 and ironically here we are tracking a bunch yeah of them. oh and that it album way is, better than it ever oh, did yeah that yeah. album is is I can play that album start to finish that Redeemer album and then I know Robert you did a, some work uh, with um, Bruce on DTS uh, yes. stuff. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good stuff. That stuff sounds really cool. Uh, Only You Can Choose is a really killer track. And I know he's getting ready to release like a 16 song or uh, yeah, album it's, or something. It's a 16 song album. The DTS stuff is. It's really eerie how much it sounds like Striper. And it sounds a lot more like them even with uh, Robert playing the drums, of course. And Bruce sounds incredibly like Mike. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a great album of really uplifting music it is uh, people are just going to love it when it comes out and i think it's probably going to be available in, in the next month or two i think he's hoping to have it out cool so cool we're cranking out the the, the, the uh, family of musicians here uh, cranking getting ready to crank out a lot of tunes if if you could say one thing out there to to all the young um aspiring uh, musicians uh out there uh what would be the the one thing that you could say the the thing that you found out wasn't always so great or you know maybe what it was built up as wasn't always necessarily what it what it comes to be is it is there one thing that you could say like you know hey you know keep it in the house keep it you know keep it close to your your heart or i mean well you know music is a lot tougher than a lot of people think that it is it's a it's a hard job it really is but if it's something you love from the heart, do it with all the passion that you have and do it to the best of your ability. Try to be as different as you can. And you know what? Send some prayers up to God in heaven because uh, you'll find how much that helps. Yeah, it really does. And you know, you see, and, and even if you're going to hit your cheeks, you got to do it musically. Like sure. That. Oh, of course. That, that Skillfully. Was that was pretty creative, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's full of that kind of stuff. Well, you just never know what's going to come next. Well, we'll just keep rolling with the film then. You know, I, I, if I was going to give advice to anybody that was going to play anything, um, you know, a lot of people get to the end of their lives and they say, well, I don't have any regrets. Nonsense. i got tons of regrets. You know, I, I wish I would have stayed even truer to everything that I'd ever thought musically not just spiritually, but musically, and playing music. Don't be affected by trends. 
don't worry about how good the guitar player down the street plays or whatever instrument you're looking at. Uh, find an instrument that you love and play it the way that you love it and stick with it. And don't worry about the trends because they all come and go. Just like clothing, music comes and goes. And, and right now we're kind of a, in a strange place in history where I don't know if there's any one dominant music on the scene really that people are just listening to everything and anything. And uh, just find something you like and do it. And, and just stick true to it and don't be intimidated by other people. Yeah, it sure is a big change like Robert was sharing about how uh, they went in and they retracked uh, some tunes from the past and the technology is unbelievable now, you know. Yeah. All the pickups sound killer on the guitars, the drum sticks are a little bit more meatier, you know, the drum heads don't break as easily, uh, right. you know, everything. The strings last well, longer. Well, he hits them, they still break. <laughs> <Yeah>. They still break. <laughs> the strings last longer, you know, you can track any stuff in your home now with Pro Tools. Well, and plus, you just, you know, you learn so much over the years, you know, if you've done it so often, you live and learn. And so, anyways, good days ahead. Definitely, definitely. And again, appreciate it, Bill and, and Robert, for coming out to the show. And second time for you, Robert. And we're hoping uh, many more times for both of you and, and you too, Robert, as well. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Thanks again.